Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Stitching with Sue here to do another machine embroidery video. First off, um, sorry I've been MIA for a little bit. I've had a little bit of a setback with my um, medical health. Um, but uh, I needed to do a video. Sometimes, you know, you just need to do things. And um, even if you're kind of not really feeling the best, um, you just need to do it. So first off, I want to apologize because I am looking everywhere for my microphone and I cannot find it. Um, I just keep looking and oh, I don't, I don't know where it is. Uh, let me look one more place here. I see another cord. Nope, that's not it. Um, I know it's been so long since I've done a video and I just don't know where it is. So, um, I apologize if when the machine starts that, um, it might be a little loud. Hopefully for the next video, I'll be able to find it. But I always keep it here next to my um, stand. And it's just not here. So I apologize for that. Um, please don't leave a comment that I can't, that you can't hear. I mean, I'm telling you up front, you might not be able to hear. I will try to talk as close as I can while the machine starts going. So, um... I, I'm trying to use up a lot of the materials that I have and I have a bunch of these tea towels um, Let me see I'm not really sure where I got them um, They're called uh, set of two flower towels and I'm not really sure where I got them but here's the label 100% they're 28 inches by 29 inches and the size is approximately approximate made in India and they're just flower sack towels you can get them anywhere nowhere special um, I ordered them online maybe craftsy or craft something or another I don't know that's where I think I got them from but I'm trying to use up the things that I have and um, I got this design from, um, and I have to apologize because um, my memory just, I don't know. It's just, I'm, I'm having a moment with the memory and it's Creative Fabrica is where the design is from. And um, it's a cute little coffee cup with steam and a few little beans. And I will put the uh, link for the design. Now I am a member of Creative Fabrica and I have an affiliate link. So if you enjoy this design, it's just a stitch art design. I've never done anything like this before. And I'm using brown variegated thread. I'm not sure how it's going to look, but it's called like a red work design. And um, I don't know how it's gonna look. I haven't done one yet. So we're gonna learn together. So I will put the link down below. And again, like I said, the, um, do you need anything from, no, Pampered Chef, no. My daughter's texting me, I need anything from Pampered Chef. Hardly, because I barely cook anything anymore. But I'll have to get back to her later on on that because I don't want to interrupt my video. Now this is just one color. So that's why I decided to use the variegated thread and it's 15 minutes, so there's no change. It's just the variegated browns that I'm using. And uh, I have it in a, um, a larger hoop. Um, it's a square hoop, and it didn't fit in my five by seven, but I know the design comes in multiple sizes. So depending on it, um, you can look it up if if it's something you'd be interested in. Now, if you're a member of Creative Fabrica, then you can download all the designs. You pay one price, you can download all the designs, but if you don't wish to join, then you just pay per design. So totally up to you how you wanna do that. But let's go ahead and get started and then um, we'll do our little chit chat like I normally do. I may have to move um, my camera because it may the arm I, I readjusted a little bit different way so I can see better 
and um, I may have to move it depending on how far. So this is bigger than a five by seven. It's more square. I want to say maybe it's a, well, I'll measure it when I'm done. But like I said, the design comes with multiple uh, sizes and I don't remember which design I, uh, what size I downloaded, but you know, I wanted it to be a nice size for a, a towel. So let's go ahead and get started. And um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I had some issues this morning with um, something that I was working on. So change the needle, you know, of course the thread was changed and um, we'll see how it goes. And I have a feeling it's going to hit. We have to move it over a smidge. Maybe not, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right. So anyhow, how are you all doing? I know it, it's been it's been a few. Um, I've had some medical issues going on, you know. We never wanna have medical issues, but you know, when you do, you do. And there's not too much you can do about it. I think I'm gonna have to move this over and I'm gonna move it a scotch. Isn't that what they call those? Scotch. I just don't want it to hit the arm and knock it over. Um, so now again, this is variegated thread, so it's gonna come out all different colors and browns and golds and, well, we'll see how it looks, right? It's just gonna be a towel, so no big deal. So anyhow, um, what all has been going on? Well, I don't remember where we left off in our previous chit chats. And if you're brand new here, my name is Susan and I am um, a machine embroiderist, self-taught. And I um, enjoy doing machine embroidery. Started this channel with Stampin' Up! And I still do my uh, Facebook Lives when I'm able to do them. And I post them on here, some unboxing and things. That little thing right there, these are little coffee beans. So they're gonna be very interesting beans <laughs> with a variegated thread. But we'll see how it turns out, who knows? Maybe we'll end up liking it. So um, I've been doing machine embroidery for the past few years. Um, recently I became disabled. I ended up, if you're brand new and you don't know anything me, about me, just a little synopsis. We're doing another coffee bean next to this one. I have a disease called glioblastoma and it's brain cancer and I've already had a craniotomy and I'm having some issues with other things that are going on, some um, radiation, oh I can never remember what they call it, but kind of like when I had the craniotomy and the mass removed, you need to have radiation therapy afterwards and chemotherapy. And the way it was described to me was um, almost like I got too much radiation, if there is such a thing. And so now there's um, a buildup. Radiation is like building up in the area where the mass was removed. So I've been having some issues with um, not so much with speech, but with words coming, um, vision problems, unsteadiness. Um, I had an issue where um, I recently was just in the hospital this weekend with, uh, we were doing another coffee bean. Interesting coffee beans, aren't they? I had um, severe headaches, pressure in my head, kaleidoscope colors, lots of things associated with this. I am under chemotherapy. It's a oral medication that I take. And I also wear a device called Optune. It's O-P-T-U-N-E. And a lot of um, people aren't aware of that, including the emergency room doctor when I was there this weekend. Um, so now I have some follow-ups. My blood worker is off. There's just a lot of things going on. Um, the chemotherapy medication is on hold right now because my blood levels are uh, too low. So they had called me today from the doctor's office and um, I have an appointment next week. They want to follow up just to talk about things. I've had CAT scans, MRIs, blood work, EEGs, oh, you name it. Between the last two months, I've been in the hospital twice 
and that's why you haven't seen much of me. Last week I I get so tired and exhausted that I just don't even have the ambition to even do any of my crafting that I so love to do. But when I can, I will do it because I know all of you um, enjoy it and I do too. So um, anyhow, that's what's been going on. That's my absence. Now let's talk about Facebook. I have a Facebook group, Stitching with Sue, and I've been noticing um, I wasn't always the best with following up on things, but I've been noticing um, I've just been allowing people to join in the group. They request to join, and you know we invite them in. We we kind of always think like you know that these are good people that want to be a part of our group. But I've been noticing that a lot of the people that have been wanting to join are trying to sell things, trying to get you to subscribe to things. And that's not what this channel is about. This channel is about sewing, embroidering, crafting, sharing what you're making, um, even you know sharing where you got your design from. I'm not so much concerned about you know um, people What's the words I'm looking for? I'm, I'm not so much concerned. Oh, is there a lot of dust on top of here? I mean, the bread, I guess. I'm gonna have to dust this off when I'm done. Um, you could share the design that from something you make. That is perfectly fine. But when there, there are people on here trying to scam people out of money, I don't want that to happen to any of you, let alone myself. Let me just twist this a little bit. So I did a thing with three questions and then what I'm getting feedback is even if you've been a member they're still asking you for the three questions now again my mind isn't working to full capacity I'm trying to figure out how to change this how to fix this and I don't even know what I'm doing half the time so um, what I thought I changed it to was new members that were coming they had to answer three basic questions like where did you hear about me what kind of machine do you have well just like three simple questions and you know there's no wrong answer unless you don't answer and if you don't answer the three questions uh, the one question is that you're going to follow the rules of the channel and people don't fill that in well that's probably the most important question of all is that you're going to follow the rules and you know so I, I i don't know what to do right now i'm almost half tempted to just close out the facebook site and start a brand new one because i don't know what i'm doing i'm i'm not techno savvy i learn as i go so if i offended anyone or anyone has been hurt by that i apologize immensely i'm so sorry but I'm just trying to look out for your safety, for my safety, uh, for everyone's safety. And I have to tell you, I'm really enjoying this design. And I think I might, might make another one just all in the brown. So I'm not so concerned about um, the different colors, but I don't know if I like that. But you tell me when we're done. Leave it down in the comments below. So anyhow, um, that's what's been going on. Um, I hope you can hear me because I'm kind of close to the camera um, and the machine I still have it slowed down from the last project I've been doing. I have done a few little projects in between and I didn't take pictures of them because they were just kind of something fun and I just needed something that I couldn't do video on because the brain wasn't working right. Um, but I made a little um, fishing game with magnets for my grandson. I made a little stuffy doll. I, I shared the, I don't think I took a picture of the fish game, but um, I found it from a woman's website and she was offering the design for free with little fish magnets. But um, it came out really cute and he really liked it. So, um, yeah, and I've been doing a little bit of stamping. Um, again, you know, my brain needs to work sometimes a little bit more than than normal to do some of these designs and things and sometimes it's just not working you know it's just not working but i really do like this and i really think this would be really nice in like all browns but 
but I have some fabric in my stash that has coffee cups. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stitch on the bottom of this um, some fabric. I did another one, I'll have to take a picture of that. Um, that was the one I was working on this morning and I just had so many troubles with it. I threw the thread away because I was thinking it was the thread. I kept getting um, those bunched up caterpillar threads and I changed the needle, I changed everything. When it gets to something like that, there wasn't a 10 ton of thread, and I just threw the thread away. I mean, it was yellow thread. I mean, I got tons of yellow thread. But um, it's really cute. It has lemons, and, um, and I'll take a picture of it, but I'm gonna sew on, um, well, we're coming near the end here. I hope it doesn't hit the arm of the machine. I may have to tip it a little. Um, I will take a picture of it. I'm gonna sew on a little bit of fabric on the end of that, too. I don't know, I just felt like I, I wanted to work on something embroidery-wise, but something that was easy and not too much for thinking. You know, some days you just need to work on things that aren't so much for thinking. But I want to continue to thank everyone for all their prayers, their blessings, their thoughts, everything while I'm going through this illness. Um, last week was just horrendous. Um, in June, I ended up having my uh, chemo medication, which didn't agree too much with my stomach. That um, not to get gross or anything, but I had issues with being able to go to the bathroom. Um, and um, I tried everything, and finally ended up in the emergency room with an impaction. So then, I never. I haven't really recovered from that yet. They gave me this medication, which was like a wonder drug, but if you know what I mean, it could turn it off, okay? It, that's all I'm gonna say about it. It could stop now, okay? But it's still, they don't think it has anything to do with the medication. They don't know what that's from, but something else. Um, so anyhow, um, I had that, and then I ended up where I was just very weak. Now, my daughter was here because it had been my birthday, July 23rd, and she tells me the other day, yeah, last week, you really look like crap. Well, like, I wish she would have told me that, you know, maybe I would have called the doctor sooner. <clears throat> you know, let me grab a drink here. I would have called the doctor sooner. Instead, I waited for them to call me because they came to take more blood, and then the next day they called wanting to know how I was feeling, and I told him I wasn't feeling good, I had headaches, terrible pressure headaches, terrible, like even to bend over and to pick something up, the pressure, you thought your head was going to blow off your shoulders, and I thought, this is it, Jesus is coming for me, this is it, you know, I mean, I just felt so weak, I spent two days in bed, other than getting out to let the dog out, I mean, I didn't even eat. Um, I just couldn't, I, I just couldn't, but um, I always feel so much better when I'm able to come up to my craft room and to create something fun. How many of you were like that? How many of you, you know, now of course last week there was no, no crafting, no crafting. Even my new um, holiday catalog came from Stampin' Up! I couldn't even see it because my vision was off. Now I could see ahead of me, but when I would open up my phone or try to read um, something on a card, I couldn't read it. It was like all the letters and numbers were just all jumbled together. So people were texting me and I felt so bad because I couldn't answer them because I couldn't read what they were saying. So um, my son's girlfriend made the text really large on my phone, but when I went into the ER, they kept me overnight. Um, oh, what's that sound? Did you hear that sound? Maybe it was hitting the thing. I don't know what that sound was. I always like to keep my ears open for sounds. Because that means something's a brewing. So anyhow, um... I ended up um, staying overnight. They was going to keep me an extra night, but instead they decided, no, I could go home. Now I'm on new medications. 
they have me on steroids and I have to take every six hours a steroid pill. And this is heavy dose steroids. So I think last night I slept 17 minutes. But I took a little nap before. But the darn doctor's office woke me up from my nap because they wanted a call to make an appointment for next week. And I'm like, how is a woman supposed to get some rest around here, right? I mean, you gotta keep your sense of humor, folks. No matter what you're going through in life, you're gonna have ups, you're gonna have downs, you're gonna have, is that the end? My goodness, are we done? I'm not sure. Yes, we are. Fabulous. Isn't that cute? It's cute. So anyhow, that's what's been going on. But no matter what you're going through in your life, and a friend of mine, we were just texting back and forth. She as well, and she's a little younger than I am, a few years younger. And um, let me move the camera back a little bit so I can take this out of the hoop and then I'll share it with you. Um, she said, you know, because I said, I can't drive anymore. I finally realized, you know, with my seizures, which and that's another thing, I've had seizures, um, that you know, you're not going to be allowed to drive with seizures. And I don't feel safe. I really don't feel safe. Let me bring you over here. Um, driving. Um, I have enough of things going on here with all of my other illnesses. Let me bring this down. Pick this up. Look at how cute that is. Isn't that adorable? Let me take that out of here. And she said, you know, there's always someone worse off than you. And you know what, that is so true, so true, that there's always someone that has worse off things. So, you know, you gotta make the best of every day. And what I've learned through all of this is, I worked all my life waiting for retirement. You know, I couldn't wait to retire to, you know, spend time with the grandkids, to spend time with my own kids, to maybe do a little bit of traveling, maybe, you know, doing something fun. And, you know, you gotta enjoy every day as it comes because you just don't know. Now, here on the back, let me show you the back. These are pretty big towels, I considered cutting them. On the back, I put two layers of, um, cutaway stabilizer and I use the spray where's my spray hold on let me grab it I use this basting spray and this is safe to use for embroidery let me put the lid on it um, here we are it's called spray spray and bond basting adhesive and it's great for sewing quilting um, embroidery and pattern piecing um, and you eliminate pinning will not gum up your needle and it's a temporary spray okay you want to be careful don't use this spray around your machine around anything um, if anything you should have a box and like a little spray box and put it in so I did two layers of cutaway stabilizer and I did two because I just, I don't know, the other one I did, I did two. And this will just peel off and you'll just use your scissors. I'm not going to do it here on camera because I just don't feel like I'm capable of doing it on camera. But you would cut all of this off and whatever remains, remains. Don't worry about it. Don't worry a thing. But, um, so here it is. And I mean, this, this is a big, big towel. So here's the center. Let me try to fold this up a little bit. And now on the bottom, oops, I'm sorry. On the bottom, I'm going to, uh, let me just try to temporarily fold this up. I'm gonna use the coffee fabric that I have in my stash, and I'm gonna sew it along the bottom to give it a nice, cute little border. But let me show you the other project I did this morning. And I have it all pinned up. Now this one I made was the one I was having issues with it. Um, let me see if you could see it. Here it is. It's called Squeeze the Day with a little lemon. Now the lemon is really not lemony, but I like the bright colors. And I have this yellow check that you've seen before if you've watched my videos. 
and I'm going to stitch this on the bottom and then flip it around to the other side and do a little bit of trimming and I just thought that this was such a cute design this design is also from Creative Fabrica and if you've never been to Creative Fabrica oh my gosh it's wonderful and this one I did the same thing I did the two layers let me show you the back because everybody always wants to see the back right okay so here's the oh, that's the front let me flip it over I have pins in it because I I moved my sewing machine downstairs in my dining room so here's the back of this one and see I just trimmed around I could trim around a little bit more oops I can't really see it I could trim all around a little bit more but I'm not too worried about that I could do that later but isn't it adorable so this is going to be the border that's going to flip so it's not going to be the border's not going to oh my goodness I can't get this all in let me move you back a little bit the border is not going to be all of this, you know, it's going to be folded. So this will be, let me see here. And I keep hitting the camera. I'm trying to, yeah, it's just not one of my days, not one of my better days, but it's okay. Um, and then this will be a little border going around the bottom and you could just flip it over um, your oven or your refrigerator or that kind of thing. And this is more of my mom used to call them show towels. These are the towels you don't use. They're just for show. And of course, when I'm all done, I'll press all this and make it nice and everything. But I think this came out really cute. I hope you like it. And like I said, I used the variegated thread. Now let me grab the thread so I can show you. Find my scissors. Let me take the thread out of pull it from the bottom never pull from the top because it'll goof up your tension so um let me flip it around i'm not sure this might be sim thread or bro thread but um here it is this is the variegated colors and yeah look i did my nails today i thought i'd be a little fancy fancy for y'all um, but this is the variegated thread it came in a set of all different ones and um it, it works fine. And here comes Miss Dory. Oh, she's missed everyone so much. Um, so that's the variegated thread. And with variegated thread, it depends on how the stitching is. Now, the way that this was designed, it went across. Sometimes you'll find it, it goes at an angle. It just all depends on how the designer did it. To me, I just keep looking at them thinking that they're Easter eggs, but you see a cup of coffee there. Now, what you can do, what you can do if you really, I like how it is in the center of the cup. What you can do is you can take carefully permanent markers and color that in. Just be careful, very careful so you don't get it all over. But if you wanted to make them dark brown, a darker color, you could very easily use permanent markers like a sharpie marker and color it in i rather like the inside because it reminds me of like a cafe latte or is that what you call those a latte you know where it has the little swirl thing but you know the cough the the beans kind of look a little strange but if you wanted to change those you can go back over them don't take it out of the hoop go back over them and maybe just change it to brown thread if you wanted to do that but i think it's it's kind of fancy don't you look at the cute little thing i think it's very cute so anyhow um i want to thank you so much for joining uh joining me here today again my name is susan and i'm stitching with sue and you could also find me on facebook and you know i don't know i don't know what y'all want to do as far as you know um just answer the three questions it's not earth shattering it's not asking for your firstborn child or anything like that it's just so that i know that you are real and you're not someone on here that's wanting to scam people because it's just terrible how people are are doing those things and i always feel so badly when um those things go on um because you know you just can't trust anyone. You know, someone called me on the phone the other day. They wanted to go over some sort of benefits with my health coverage. And, and you know, right away they're asking for information, social security numbers and what. Don't give anybody anything. If anything, you know, inquire about things. Um, just please be very careful out there. If you feel in your gut that something's not right, most of the time it's not, it's not right. 
you know, especially these days, you know, they, they just try to scam everyone. So I, I don't want anyone to get hurt or scammed or anything like that. So the three questions are just craft related. And um, if you already, you know, have been a member and now this is coming up, that's the reason why. But I'm trying to fix it without having to delete and start all over again because we have a lot of great information on here. And um, I just, I just wanna be careful for all of you because, you know, I care about each and every one of you. And I just want to thank you all for all your well wishes, your thoughts, your prayers, and those of you that sent cards or supported me on my YouTube channel with uh, shout outs or um, what do they call those things? Um, you can donate, you know, not that I don't expect anyone to donate any money to me or anything, but um, I forget what you call them because like I said, my brain doesn't always work. But anyhow, uh, thanks so much for joining me. If you're not a subscriber yet, consider subscribing. I am I try to come on here if I'm feeling good and I'm able to, I try to come on here as much as I can. Um, I do Thursday night Facebook Lives and I, I post them on here. Although I didn't do one last week because I was just so ill that I just couldn't. But if I can do it, I'm here. I'm here for all of you. If you ever have any questions, feel free to leave down in the comments. Be sure to like, comment, most of all subscribe. It helps my channel immensely by you subscribing and it's absolutely free. And if you ring the notification bell next to subscribe, you will get a notification when I upload a new video so you won't miss anything. So again, thank you all so much. I do appreciate you all and sending all my love to you. And till next time, happy stitching. Bye for now.